It's really helped me discover who I am, and I know that's really lame, and I know that, that you're going to hear this a million times when people want to study abroad, um, but you, know, you, you really find your own feet when you, when you come somewhere that seems really foreign to you. First of all, I think uh, the academic level is very high. Um, it is something that uh, I was looking for when I was um, searching different universities and planning to go and study abroad. I was looking at in Portugal and in um, the Netherlands and in Poland and also then in, in Denmark. And, and I was asking some of my former, um, former managers and they would say, yeah, Denmark, we, they are in innovation, they are uh, leading. And I was advised that it's a good uh, university and indeed it is. Um, since I started my bachelor here a few years ago, and um, now I'm doing my master's, so I'm really happy with my choice. I genuinely love it. It's, um, it was a pleasure from the day I came. I can say I, I love all the opportunities Denmark gives, and uh, my studies, I enjoy every aspect of it, which is quite unique, I would say. For me, I think the, the level of teaching is really high, and uh, also I learned a lot in the last year, the last one and a half years I had here. My professors have been really, really helpful with lots of different things. I would say that I've mailed my professors more than I would have ever mailed any professor that I ever had in the US. Um, one thing for sure is that you know they're just there for you. And I think that that's a huge difference in, in studying here in Denmark is your professor is there for you. If you look around here, they're just students. It's a student city. You have that young feeling, the vibe. So that's, that's really cool, what I like here. It's a city like a combination of nature. It's close to nature, the barber and the lake, and also the city life where the city center is. There are, there are many social places in Aarhus where you can just go during Fridays or whenever you want and meet other students, if just for beer or for chit-chat or something else. The educational system is quite different in Romania. Uh, in a way, uh, what was my first big uh, lesson was that I learned how to learn. <laughs> it might sound very funny, but I think the system is in a way in Romania that you're more used to uh, learn by heart what you're doing there and not really learn to think about it and how you can actually apply it in real life. You get a lot of feedback from professors and that's one thing that that you don't necessarily get in the US is the professors here really care because you come out as a reflection of them. And um, mailing in a synopsis and getting back really critical feedback, at first I was really angry when, I, when that happened, when, when I got a, pay, a synopsis back. And I thought the, the feedback was really, really critical. Uh, but actually it was really helpful. The more I sat there, the more I read it, the more I used it in my final paper, I would say that the, the critical feedback was well, well deserved and well needed in order to help me grow as, as a writer and as a student. Like it's not memory, memorizing the knowledge, but also to apply it and to like argue for it. There's one very different thing, like in China, there's right and wrongs. The teacher can say, this is wrong, not right. But here, everything can be right as long as you can argue for it. Back home I, I only experienced high school, but uh, the transition to a Danish university wasn't that difficult as I thought it will be. But uh, there are still aspects that change. You are more responsible for yourself. There's, there's no one that would tell you you have to come to lectures, especially in Denmark. You don't have to. You only have to come for exams. So it's, it's your responsibility and you suddenly become independent person. Compared to Romania in a way, it's more up to date. <laughs> um, so when we do different subjects and we study different topics, um, they are much more up to date. They really are trying to give us a sense what it means to be up to date with the business environment, with the recent changes, whether it's a economic crisis, whether it is globalization or whether it's a multiple cultures and how you deal with that. What I really like here is this kind of study environment. Uh, when I say I go through the library, uh, in my bachelor it was, what, you're going through the library? Oh, you're not cool, this is a nerd. But here it's really, yeah, nice, uh, we are also there and then we exchange ideas. So this is kind of the environment makes a big difference. And that's what I really, that's why I sometimes stay longer. Um, because the new S building, what we have here, I think it's also 
it, very different if you're sitting in a library which is gloomy and no air and sticky or if you're living in a really nice Danish architectural minimalistic S building where you can watch the, the seaside as is also a kind of difference and we have that here as well. In comparison to ours, of course Germany is, um, the culture is similar but um, the academic culture is quite quite different from Denmark. It's, in Germany it's more hierarchic and there's in Denmark, yes, yeah, you have a really close relationship to your teachers. I think it's a very informal culture in a way. And when I say informal, I mean a lot about the fact that here you're allowed to address your teachers on the first name. Um, and it's very, very easy and comfortable going and saying to them if there's something you didn't understood or is something that you really want to ask further. I think they're very open to this. If you come as an international student to us in the first place, I think it's no problem to make social context with international students in the first place. <laughs> if you are open, persistent, and you have to know this, you have to look at what the what the Danes are responding. But not because normally you don't get a criticism feedback. If you're talking too much, then the the Dane he was always say exactly, exactly. But in his mind he's like, that, what is wrong with him? So it's really hard to get a feedback from the Danes. But just look what they do and then be open and I think then it will come. I think it's the same whether you live in China or whether you live in UK or whether you live in Denmark. It's the same thing. You need to understand the local customs and local traditions. Um, and this, I think, constitutes a big part of your social life. Some of my Danish friends are very like encouraging and uh, they are quite nice to someone foreign or like new, newly come here. It's hard for me to give advice because I think every study abroad is what you make of it. And I think that's what some people have to realize when they come to Denmark, is that your experience abroad will be what you make of it. And that goes from everything from taking trips around Denmark to your life at the university to getting a job. Um, I think very much that if you come to Denmark and you hate it, then you're going to hate your whole entire study abroad and there was no point in you really going abroad. Whereas I think um, if you come to Denmark and you realize what all Denmark has to offer, because it's more than just the university, it's more than just learning Danish, it's more than just being in Aarhus, I think that there's a lot more within Denmark that they're, that they're, yeah, that you can kind of discover. Um, I guess that kind of goes for both people interested in Denmark and people here in Denmark is the whole entire, the whole entire thing is what you make of it. I really like they have those uh, international community where they organize all kinds of activities for international like students or people who works here. I am as a German very competitive. I always want to win. I always want to be the best one. And the Danes are more from the Hofstetter. They are more cultural. They're more even. Winning is not. They're the team based. That's what their approach is. And then we had some class exercises. And then I, I really noticed that that some they were just it's not about winning Kai, it's about the group and how we work together. And I was at the beginning, Jesus guys, what, what's going on here? But then I, I noticed that yeah, if, if if the group is working together as, as one group, the outcome is also better. So this this thought about winning actually harms at the beginning with, when you're working with, with uh, Danes together. So that's what I learned. It's not about winning at the, all the time. It's more about working together as a group really nicely. That I am, as a German, very competitive. I always want to win. I always want to be the best one. And the Danes are more from the Hofstetter. They are more cultural. They're more even. Winning is not they're the team based. That's what their approach is. And then we had some class exercises. And then I, I really noticed that that some they were just it's not about winning Kai, it's about the group and how we work together. And I was at the beginning, Jesus guys, what, what's going on here? But then I, I noticed that yeah, if 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 the group is working together as, as one group, the outcome is also better. So this this thought about winning actually harms at the beginning with, when you're working with, with uh, Danes together. So that's what I learned. It's not about winning at the, all the time. It's more about working together as a group really nicely. That was Ohus is very international. So then um, this is a very good point when it comes to university level because you actually get to, to know a lot of uh, international students. And this makes a really good uh, 
global culture, so to speak. Listen as well as share your ideas to actively participate in it. The form of examination is very, very different from those ones in China. Right now I'm, I'm learning and enjoying to learn. It sounds a little bit strange, enjoy to learn, but I like it here. It's something very different because you come from a different culture and you're used with different requirements when it comes to an exam. And then you got here suddenly to a different style of, of doing exams and, and getting your grade on. So I think this is a huge difference and this was a challenge for me. I am, as a German, very competitive. I always want to win, I always want to be the best one. And the Danes are more from the Hofstetter, they are more cultural, they're more even. Winning is not, they're the team based, that's what their approach is. And then we had some class exercises. And then I, I really noticed that, that some there were just, it's not about winning Kai, it's about the group and how we work together. And I was at the beginning, Jesus guys, what, what's going on here? But then I, I noticed that yeah, if, if, if the group is working together as, as one group, the outcome is also better. So this, this thought about winning actually harms at the beginning when you're working with, with uh, Danes together. So that's what I learned. It's not about winning at the, all the time. It's more about working together as a group really nicely.